breaking news for you. A passenger plane with 66 people on board has crashed in central Iran. It's feared there are no survivors. Local media cite eyewitness reports saying the plane was trying to make an emergency landing. The crash site is located near Semirom in Iran's central Isfahan province. Reports say ambulances cannot reach it as it's in any mountainous area. Now we understand one emergency helicopter was sent there was also unable to land due to bad weather. Now, the plane was operated by Asaman Airlines. Uh, this is the third largest carrier in Iran. It uh, operates uh, domestic and regional services. Now, the plane is a French-Italian short-haul aircraft, the model first introduced at the end of the 80s. The last time an Asaman Airlines plane crashed was 24 years ago. Back then, the plane suffered a sudden loss of power. 66 people were also killed in that disaster. Well, here on RT International, when we get the updates on this breaking news, you get all of them immediately. An Iranian passenger plane has crashed into the country's Zagros Mountains, killing all 66 people on board. The flight was reportedly traveling from capital Tehran to the small town of Yasuj in Isfahan province with 60 passengers and six crew members on board. The plane has been identified as Iran Aceman Airlines ATR-72. This is the big story we are getting from Iran right now, where a passenger plane has crashed, killing 66 people on board. The flight is reported to be traveling from capital Tehran to the small town of Yasuj in Isfahan province and was carrying 60 passengers and six crew members. The ATR-72 twin-engine turboprop plane vanished from radar about 20 minutes after taking off from Mehrabad airport at about 5.50 a.m. local time. Witnesses told local media that it appeared that the aircraft was trying to make an emergency landing on a pasture before it, it crashed in the Dena mountain range. A crash site was found near Semirom in Iran's central Isfahan province but a rescue helicopter was unable to immediately land due to bad weather, it was reported. Rescue teams were sent to the site to search for survivors. The airline said everyone on board was presumed to be dead. The rescue effort was hampered by the remote location of the crash site, as well as the mountainous terrain and dense fog. Joining me on the broadcast is Mujtaba Mosavi. He's a journalist and he's joining us from Tehran. Hello, Mr. Mosavi. Uh, indeed, a very bad piece of news coming in from Tehran. Uh, what more details can you share about this, sir? 